This is a 1950 Mercury, and this is the four-door sports sedan model, and uh, it just looks so slick. It's finished in Trojan gray, and it has the tri-bar headlights, which are a little bit of a newer update. But for the most part, it looks all factory original here on the front, all that beautiful chrome. It just looks so classy of the hood ornament, which I'll show you in more detail later. And it has the Mercury 8 badge there on the fenders, because these all came with V8 engines. And uh, so look at the fenders, too, how they're poking through even the driver's door there. And so you have the redone upholstery, and you have the uh, gauge cluster there, all the chrome and bright work. It just it looks so classy. This car has the floor-mounted shifter, which uh, wouldn't have come with this car. This car would have had a normal column shifter. So this one definitely has some mechanical work done to it to make it unoriginal. But... Um, still looks amazing you can see it has the fender skirts there in the rear so that it just exaggerates that slick profile and uh, you can see normally these would have a chrome handle for the trunk and a badge there and those aren't there but otherwise i mean it looks very factory original so coming around to the passenger side here you can see the uh interior from this angle and uh, obviously he's mounted some uh, auxiliary gauges there below to keep tabs on everything and a aftermarket head unit also to you know have some cds or whatever in here but otherwise i mean it looks really cool and uh, i personally love the 50 mercuries because my grandfather had a two-door 50 mercury and uh, yeah these just look so slick i just really like them and james dean drove one in rebel without a cause too which made him a hot rod favorite and there's that awesome hood ornament again and uh, yeah, so that's the 1950 Mercury four-door sports sedan.